everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my week of June's, my year 2017. And um, what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be working on the prompt for this month, which is growth. Okay. Now, because I'm doing a an art-ish journal, um, what my topic for growth, how I'm going to take it, is um, growing in my art. So today I'm letting uh, you're going to see <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, so let's go ahead and get, let's see where we're going to be. Just to give you guys a quick run through if you haven't seen this before. Just let you show you what's going on. I love this. Every now and then I'll be like, okay, what's today? Today is going to be uh, awesome. Today's an awesome day. All right. I do that quite often. I'll open this up and put that through. This is just the tip-in stuff we did. Um, the pockets, I should say. Just a page. April, Tyvek, flowers, crayons. It was fun. This this month was fun. And then last month was May. I still didn't get a chance to do journaling there, and I want to do that, so I will. This was uh, Let It Loose, and the prompts, and the book, which we need that out because we need it for the next month. And here we go. This is June. We're starting out with a funky-looking green, so we're going to have to work on that. But... For today, what we're talking about is growth. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is when I first started drawing, okay, this was back in 2013. Um, my accident happened in August of 2012, and by July of 2013, I was just going completely stir crazy, so I needed something to do. So I decided at that time I was going to start drawing faces, right? So here we go. <laughs> Here's one of my first girls. Isn't she funny looking? <laughs> I laugh and I don't want to get rid of these because I just, I think they're funny. So, um, <laughs> I laugh. I had, <coughs> pardon me, absolutely no training whatsoever. I had no idea what I was doing. Here's another one. I mean, they're, they're, they're funny looking. I love their eyes. This was in November of 2013. Again, November of 2013. I'm going to zoom you in so I don't have to bring that up. There we go. Alright, so there's her. Then we were just playing around with different shapes. <laughs> I just laugh when I see these because they crack me up. I love this. I don't know what the deal with that one uh, they just they make me smile they make me laugh and and I just I know where I was and I know I feel better soon <laughs> I think they're hilarious uh, here we go here's one must be I didn't like her lips because I <laughs> and you know what's funny is I'm seeing uh, throughout all this I'm seeing different hairstyles and if you guys notice well if you want to call it hair um, right now I normally do the same style <laughs> over and over again um, but this just cracks me up it just makes me laugh so here's here's my bad <laughs> uh, we did that one we did that one this girl <laughs> look out look at this I'm not sure what's up with her. She cracks me up. So anyways, this is where I started, all right? So we're talking about growth. Well, I've grown a little bit, I think, maybe. <laughs> um, and I started working in art journals and on canvases. So here's one. This is one of my very first canvases. <laughs> I just, I laugh. I just took a copy of it, um, but yeah, that's my very, one of my very first canvases, and I'm going to use these in my in my journal here in my year. 
interesting. Here's another one I did. A little bit better. The eyes are a little bit better. Um, I love the lips. I, I really, you know, I need to practice more on the lips and the noses. <laughs> and then this was in my art journal, which I really loved her. I thought she turned out really pretty. And then, of course, one of the recent ones I've done. So, you know, when we talk about growth in art, so many people, I can't draw. I can't draw. Well, you know what? I couldn't draw. And you could see that from the beginning. I just, I had no idea um, how to draw. I, I, I didn't know. So, the biggest thing I'm going to say about art growth is um, practice makes perfect, right? So, we have to practice. And that is, that is what's going to grow you in your art. Is If you sit down and you do something every day, I don't care if you sketch the same baby food jar over and over and over again. You're going to get growth on that. It's just like learning to ride a bike. You fall off, but you get back on and you keep practicing, and pretty soon you're good at it. Um, art is the same exact way. You can teach yourself how to draw a face. You can teach yourself how to draw a horse or how to draw a chair. It just takes practice. So this is where I'm going with growth. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I want to get rid of this color. I don't want to say get rid of it, but I'm in. Eh, I don't want it. So I want to get rid of it. Let's um, let me get my supplies here together, which I haven't done that. Let me get everything together and we're going to start working on our, our very first spread. We'll chat in a bit. All right, so um, I was going to use some of the Dilution paints in teal and in blue, but I can't get this teal open, so we're going to use blue. So um, what I'm going to do, I just want a little bit of additional color on here. Now I have these beautiful stencils from Gina Ahrens. Um, you might want to check out her Etsy shop. If I remember, I'll put it in the links below. If not, just go to www.ginabahrens.com and she will have links there to lead you to them. So I am going to... Um, this is her citrus, I believe it's called. Let me see if she's got a name on here. Uh, no, she doesn't have a name. But I believe this one, of course, it's a citrus. Duh. No, I don't believe it. I know it. Oops. And I just got paint. There we go. Let's do this. So I just want to put a little bit of something different on here for the growth. All right. So we were talking about art. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> I'll tell you, I where I've been able to go with my art um, as far as you know, learning. Every day I learn, and I love to learn. I'm the type of person that if I don't have something to learn, I get very bored very easily, and I think that's why mixed media, mixed media has really, um, has, I've taken to it, is because every day I'm learning something. Even if it's just, oh, I don't like this color, or I don't like this stencil, or I don't like, you know, or I do like, oh, this color combination is really cool. Eh, yeah, it's not so good with that color. Every day is a learning experience. Every time I pick up paint, pen, um, a piece of collage, whatever it happens to be. I like this. I love this stencil. Thank you, Gina. Um, these, you can purchase them, like I said, at her Etsy shop, and that's where I got mine. I purchased them at her Etsy shop, which is really cool. So, um, there's one. And again, you know I don't clean my stencils, which is no big deal. Um, now, this one is feathers, and just because I want to use it, um, I have a couple more, but citrus and feathers, don't they go good together? Let me grab another paint. I really want teal, but let's use this. I've got this sitting right here. This is a uh, turquoise from Golden Fluid Acrylic. I'll cover that up. And just throw a little bit here. I do have my palette over there, but that's all right. And do I want to keep citrus? Hmm. No, I want to do something else. So let's find Gina's other. Uh, I have them in here. Hold on. Got it. This is my stencil box. Um, these are the stencils that I use most. Um, and I have them in these little square sleeves like this. So 
I go through and just check out. Oh, I like that one. Let's do that one. So I'll just find one that I like and we'll go through. I'll keep that out so it can go back in the back of its packet. There we go. It's a strong color. Put it over here. There we go. It's all good. Ooh, that one's really gooey. That's all right. We got to put our calendar on here today, anyways. So it's all good. So I'm really excited. Of course, I'm um, video videoing this. I'm creating this before it's actually due because um, I don't like all that paint there. So we're just gonna leave that a blob. I'm gonna put the calendar there, anyways. Um, so I'm painting this before it's or I'm doing this before it's due and. My husband and I are going to have our maiden voyage with our RV. Um, we used to have one, a few, you know, quite a few years ago, which was a big one, a big Class A, and it was just too big. You, there, you, it was just too big, too much, too much work, um, a lot of maintenance, that kind of stuff. So we ended up selling that, and we bought a smaller one. We have now what's called a Class A, and uh, you can ride in it. And then it's all right behind you. It's it's um, a lot smaller than the big size RV. So, anyways, um, we're taking that for our maiden voyage. Let me dry this up, and we'll be right back. All right, so this is dry. So let's grab our June calendar, and I am going to use some washi. I want that color now. That looks better. I'm going to use some washi now. Um, because I know this washi does not stick very well, I'm also going to glue this down and then glue the washi. So I got just a glue stick here. So I'm going to glue this down. Do, 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 do. Good. Glue that baby down. And then I'm going to glue around the outsides where I'm going to put the washi. Because I want the washi to stick. You know, that's the only complaint I have about this stuff, other than, you know, you think you have to have every pattern color. Um, <laughs> so it's expensive after a while. But is that a lot of it just doesn't stick the way it should. And that bugs me. You know, I'm buying tape and it should stick like tape and it doesn't but that's okay it's okay we'll figure it out I love it washi yeah 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 so how do you guys um, feel that you're growing in your art what what do you do um do you practice do you draw something on a daily basis even if it's just a sketch even if you're you know you're sitting at the bank atm waiting for uh, not the atm but the drive up waiting for um i don't know them to deposit your check whatever you know carry a little sketchbook with you just draw what you see and you know it's not like it's about um perfection because it's not it's about practice. So, not perfection, but practice. And in order to get perfection, you have to practice. Ha! <laughs> I'm in a rare form this morning. I'm sorry. Um, we're having a lot of uh, rain and thunderstorms, and that doesn't bode well with chronic pain. So, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut her out because this is where this is you know where my journey began um she's she's definitely got the eyes that i was drawing and you know some of the other features and it doesn't matter if she's perfect because again we don't don't matter i'm gonna cut her off right here and here she is here is one of my beginners <laughs> She's so funny. 
I just think she's funny. Her nose, she has no nostrils. Did you notice that? She doesn't have any nostrils. So we're going to put her right here, and she's just going to be a reminder. We're going to put this every minute. I like this every minute here. It says love every minute, but we're just going to put every minute because that was part of her. So this is another way that you can use up, um, well, not use up, but use some of your previous creations is get them put on a scanner if you can or a copy machine. And, you know, just like this, I'll use this on the background of something. Um, I won't use that. So I'll use these two on the back as a background for something and this here. So it's just another way to use some of the art that you've um, created yourself. So let's do this again. I am going to glue her down. And look at her. She's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't she just gorgeous? She is, she is, and we're going to put down this every minute because, you know, um, it's supposed to be love every minute, but you know what? Every minute counts. We have, we let so many minutes go by so quick that you're going to lose them. All right. Now she's got glue on her face. Okay, there she is, every minute. So, um... This is just the beginning lesson, the beginning of my journey on growth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and get your first page done. And then we're going to come back and we're going to work on our next couple pages. We also have a book review, and I think my book review ticket's going to go right in there. Ta-da! It will once I put my, um, my June book on here. So here we go. Growth. How are you going to interpret it? Is it going to be growth in your art, growth in your life, growth in um, dealing with your chronic pain? Is it going to be growth in your checking account? You know, how are you going to deal with growth on this month? Um, I hope you think about it and, you know, come up with a unique way that's, that's good for you and something that you can actually look at and say, oh, I've made progress. And that's what growth is about to me. You make progress. When you, when you make progress, you're growing. Okay, um, again, mine is in art. And you know what? I might doodle around with this for a few minutes. Yeah, let's do that. This is just a regular uh, paper mate pen. And just because I want a little bit more color, black. And I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just scribbling, basically. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Growth isn't perfect. We make a lot of ickies along the way, you know, um, whether it's growing in your art, growing your garden. Sometimes you put in plants, you're like, yeah, no, that really doesn't go there, right? So it's all about taking that growth, those steps, those opportunities, those uh, projects, and just building on them and say, okay, yeah, I did that wrong, but let me do it again. Maybe I'll do it right this way. So, it, and it's all up to you what's wrong and what's right. All right, so don't be surprised if you come back and you see more when we on our next video um, of this page because I just I really like it. So all right, so here we go. I hope you guys live every minute, you grow in every minute, and uh, I'd love to see your take on how we're doing this. All right, so I'll be back. We'll see you on the next video. As always, take care, have fun. That's what life's all about, and happy creating. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!